family, it's Mobile Home Diva. In today's video, we are going to be touring this beautiful, beautiful home. I think this is a Fleetwood. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll correct it on the screen. This one is the Spring Hill. This is the Spring Hill, and it's absolutely gorgeous. This one is sold, but it hadn't been broken down yet. So let's go in and take a look, shall we? Beautiful, beautiful home. All right, again, this is the Spring Hill. I entered from that door there. Love the cutout, you guys, if you've been touring my homes, you know I love that area when you can walk in and have a space to take your shoes off before you walk on the carpet. So that's a plus for me. But this is beautiful. I love the light, airy feel of this home. You got those two big windows, so lots of natural light coming in. Beautiful, beautiful space. You got space for an entry. You can make that a little entry area. Super, super cute. This is an open concept, kind of, sort of. It doesn't have an island here. Look at there. Now, my only qualm with that is if that's where I'm putting the TV, no TV is that size anymore. So I'd have to think about if I want to keep that. But I think it's beautiful, and it's a pity that it's not on that wall because if that's the entertainment center for the TV, now I would do something different with it, but the TV's definitely not gonna fit there. I think it's beautiful, I love it. I love it. If But if that's my only option, I, you could put a TV there and keep that because it does bring character. It's tall and you could put the TV on top of there. So. <clears throat> that is a plus. The TV could go on the top. But then you would distract from the view of looking out here at your guests. So I don't know, you guys. There's a home for everybody. Would I, would this detract me from buying this house? No, absolutely not. I think the home is beautiful, and I can't wait to show it to you. So you got your living room here, but you know I talk about the good and the bad and the indifferent. I don't bash these homes. This, there's a home. Somebody thinks this home is perfect. I don't bash this home, but I would have to think about if I'm going to put my TV up here or put it somewhere else um, and block the view of the kitchen. So that's what I'm thinking about. <clears throat> Here's your pantry. Not enough shelving in there, but we can always work with that, right? That is not a deal breaker. We can have them add it before it rolls off the lot. All right, this is your beautiful kitchen. You've got um, your island right here. I love the cattle corner island. I always love different when the when things have different shapes or out of the norm. And I think this is beautiful. Love this um, island space. I always like the two tier islands when the sink is in the island because you have an extra layer. For, um, and it gives your guests or your family space to eat while you work um, and prepare dinner or get to serving dinner in the kitchen. This is the rest of the kitchen here, you guys. There's a drawer for every cabinet. I always like that, you know that. And I love the transom windows here. It gives you just a little peep of what's going on in the outside, but hey, it brings in a lot of natural light for you. So I think that is absolutely beautiful. I love, don't know if you would call this tray, but it has the can lighting in it, and that's super cute. So much character in that. I love it. So let me step back so you can really get a good view of what the kitchen looks like. Again, this house is sold. So all of this stuff is being packed up and ready to move. The decor is probably going to be taken out. I don't know. They might have threw it in. Who knows? You got shelving up there over the refrigerator. Always a nice touch. You can put extra appliances or decor up there. And you have space between the ceiling and the cabinets to do the same. Now, off the kitchen, you have your dining room area. Love the size of the table. That would be just enough for me and my husband. Um, now, you wouldn't want to bring too big of a table into that space, but then I, you, uh, you could bring it this way. 
um, but you would block the hall if you took it that way. So this table is a nice size and it'd be just enough for me and my husband. I don't know if you notice here, but this is a textured wallpaper right here. It almost looks like a alligator or something skin, but that is really cute. And I love the two colors in here, the lighter gray and the darker gray. I love the look of the texture on the wall. So much character in that. So pretty. This house is so light and airy. This wall right here is catacorner as well, which I think is super cute. Again, this, this isn't the average um, shape of a manufactured home. So that's what makes this house so special. So this is where, this is that tall space and where you would possibly put your TV. Not sure if it's enough, enough space there, um, but I like this island. I love this island. Very good. Let's go look at the guest bedrooms. All right. This first room is the utility room. There's your back door and your washer and dryer would go on this side. And then you got your little cubby hole over here for like a deep freezer or something. Or a little mud room area, whatever you want, it's up to you. I'm always telling you what I would do with it. But again, you don't have to take my word for it. If this is your house, then what you want to do with it is what it'll be, right? <laughs> All right, you got your transom window over the tub and shower. Long time, you know, we don't often see houses with the with the uh, shower rods in them, but with the tile racks in them, but I'm glad that they do. Got your toilet and your sink there. Lots of space on the sink for your little toiletries or decor, whatever you like. Really pretty. And then you you have a guest bedroom here. This is Cattle Corner. Let's take a look at the closet. Y'all would think I'm suffering from like altitude something or another. Maybe I'm not sick, but I'm just blah. And my head feels funny behind my forehead and behind my nose. It feels like a little pressure. I'm up in the mountains. And uh, this is house number 12 that I videoed. So it's been a lot today. I was going to go to another mobile home place, but I don't think so. I'm on my third battery, so I would have to stop and try to get all those batteries charged. And they take like a, an hour and a half a piece. I, you know, if 13, 14 homes is good. So we're probably going to end it here and come back another time. But they've got some beautiful homes. This is guest bedroom number two. Never felt funny like this before. I think it's because, you know, we're up in the mountains and I live down south of Atlanta. Um, and I'm not, it's not like Colorado or something where um, the altitude is all that different, but it's different from where I live. Again, maximize the space, bring the shelving around. You have a lot more space. Um, space in here to, for clothes and different things and you could really get creative you over here you could put shelving two or three shelves up and down this wall and then you could have uh, one up here and one down here over here so you could get creative in your closets and really make them a good space so you can get the most out of that space so two guest bedrooms, one right there and one right there. We looked at the pantry. Let's go over to the master. So not the biggest master, but not the smallest. Like this is a nice space. Um, just used to seeing them a little bigger, but this is a nice space. Me and my husband could work with that. You can put a king in here, you guys. You can put a king bed, uh, bed in here. Dresser, chesser, nightstands. So, you know, now that I'm really in it, it does look bigger. 
than what I thought. But I think, yeah, nice size bedroom. This is the master bath. Really pretty. Love the light. And that's not a white. It's a, like an antique white, like a beige white. Um, the cabinets in the kitchen as well. It might look white on video. You've got your nice garden tub there. Plenty of space for decor. You've got a large mirror and a window. And that window opens. I don't know if you can see in there, but the window opens. Love the mirror. <laughs> I guess that's a privacy wall. <laughs> you got your toilet there, additional um, space up there for toiletries, towels, etc. Your shower is behind the door and it's got the two little, I call them footstools. I guess the right person can sit in there. <laughs> and then your master closet is in here. Nice size master closet. All right, let's go get the price. My phone is ringing, but I'm not gonna run because nine times out of 10, I'll call her back. All right, Fleetwood Spring Hills, 1,369 square feet. This home is $79,938, and it covers all of that. All of that. Amazing. Oh, and I didn't even touch on, I love these little Cali Corner shelves. I love, I mean, cabinets. I always like little unique spaces in a home. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Again, this house is $79,938. All the information will be in the description box. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, comment, share, and make sure you're subscribed, okay? Thanks so much for watching The Mobile Home Diva.